Hey everybody, this is John. In a previous tutorial, we talked about um, your various options for creating a welcome tab for your Facebook page. And in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss in detail how you create that tab with the static HTML third party application, which is really simple. Um, it's ridiculously simple. So you go to static HTML iframe tabs. Uh, their page for the application. Scroll down and you click on add to my page um, and then you once you go through that you select your page of course and then it uh, eventually this will bring up my page please and then um, it'll come to then you go back to your page it should show up on your menu on the left hand side if it doesn't um, just go into the edit info and applications and find the welcome tab but really it's, it's so simple um, for my kit my purposes all I have is an as an image that I'm hosting so I post paste in the code to that image here um, they also re remove scroll bars, which is real nice. You don't have to enter that special code, so make sure you click that. And uh, if if it doesn't, if your content doesn't fit, make sure you change it appropriately. So the width is 520, height should be somewhere around 800. Um, and um, what's really nice about this, also, if if you if you just build in the content right here or you paste it in from, from uh, your server and it doesn't look the same and you're not just doing images, you're doing you know, tables, whatever, and it doesn't look the same, it's because of CSS. You're um, at the mercy of their CSS here, but you can use yours, so just paste that in as well. And uh, what's also really, really nice about this is you can have options depending on if they're a fan or a non-fan. Right now I only have one option, and uh, but that's not really ideal. So basically what's going to happen now this is a default page so a non fan comes to the page and they get the welcome tab and get the call to action click like blah 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 they click it but that doesn't really apply to a fan anymore so I need to change create another image or put in some other content for current fans that I would throw in there so they would no longer get that and um, so really finally um, it, you want to make this the default page in all likelihood. I mean, it's up to you. But for new fan, new people visiting, that needs to be the case. So that would be in Manage Permissions. And you go to Default Landing Page. I selected Welcome. And uh, that is it. Um, and really, just to kind of give you a quick overview, I mean, this this application I'm using it for my welcome tab I'm not using it for my other iframes because I feel like I need more control over those as you can see I've, I'm using my own icon for those to pull in content from my site so it's not only the fact that I can have control over the icon but I've, it's traffic that I'm getting to my site with this content but overall I mean just for the purpose of the welcome tab all I have is an image I'm not losing traffic there anyway it's just really easy. It eliminates the scroll bars without any extra code. Gives you those different views again without having to know any of that extra code. You don't have to have developer access to Facebook to create an app and everything else. Another really nice thing is you don't need to worry about the secure URL. I have to worry about that um, if I'm hosting it. Something I didn't realize uh, at first is that once Facebook made it um, made it so. Um, by default, users have secure browsing. If, if such a person comes to your, your tab and it, there's not a secure URL, they're just going to get an error message. And um, that's bad form. So you definitely need the secure URL option as well. And this app take is, takes care of it. So it's really good. I recommend it, especially for simple needs like this one. Uh, for this tutorial and others, go to johnloomer.com. Thank you.